what I thought I would do today is, as you can see here, these clips are all decorated with um, Diamante um, hot press gems. So these are my hot press gems. Um, this little set cost me about £10 and it's got um, about 10,000 gems in multiple sizes. As you can see here on my desk, just separate them out a little bit. I've got 2mm, 3mm, 4mm, 5mm and 7mm gems and the gem press tool that I use is this purple one and it comes with seven different heads and you can basically swap these heads out depending on which gems you're using and the trick I use to check which size you need is obviously each one has a cup so before you've got it turned on if you take your gem make sure it's black side down which is the bit with the glue on make sure it fits perfectly in and then it cups it completely and you've got like no overlap it fits completely in that little little dip so if you do that for every one that you've got so like i said i've checked all of these by doing that on all these individual sizes and i've got my two mil head three mil four mil five mil and this is my seven mil um like i said it has a little off switch on an off switch when it's on the red light will be on it get the tip gets extremely hot so do be careful and the main thing to remember when you're doing this is you need extremely steady hands um you need to keep your tool completely upright like this when you're setting your gems and you don't want any movement if you move at all and i have a big deep cup that i sit mine in when i'm not using it because when i use this little flimsy thing i knock it all over the place so i'm going to show you on one here yeah there we go at the end of this one so at the end of this one can you see that little white dot there i slipped a little bit and you get like a glue smudge sorry it's a little bit hard to see on camera there you go it's that little edge like say you've got a little tiny bit of a glue string from um when you're using your glue gun that can happen but obviously this can happen if you're doing it with the gem picker and hand dotting your glue because like i said if you put too much glue on that with that it's the same sort of effect you get like a little ring of glue around your gem so like i said that's what you want to do want to be doing so you never hold down for sort of more than longer than sort of seven to ten seconds 15 seconds maximum and what you do is you hold it down for like seven to ten check that it's set if it still seems a little bit wobbly then you put it down for another sort of five five seconds so like i can never try and do more than that because again if you hold it too long um, it doesn't burn if you do it for a couple of seconds, but if you do it for an extended amount of time, it will eventually start to burn around the edge of the glue. Not so much ribbon, it will be sort of burning in that glue, especially if you've smudged it a little bit as you've slipped when you've moved with the clips. And the other thing for placement is what I tend to do, and I've got this one ready, you won't be able to see on camera, what I've done with my ruler is I've marked out, because this is a 55mm clip, so I have marked out on here with dots with a pencil that won't be seen through the gem. I've just put a little dot and I've done that right in the middle of the clip, so that half centimetre in the middle and I've gone right down there and I've put my five dots or you could do six depending on how many you think each one wants to do and like I said this is just how to decorate a couple so and I'll also pause between working out um swapping my heads over because again you have to wait till they're cooled down you can't just um concentrate uh, you can't just um swap them out while the tool's still hot I haven't got any roses today but what I'm gonna do on where did I just put that there it is on this black headband which is just a nylon headband and i have this uh headband stand i got this from aliexpress a long time ago so i don't know if i'll still be able to find your link but it's just a plastic headband stand it's really useful because it means that you're not pressing the them against your finger and you won't burn yourself so again I, I quite like that so i'll show you how to decorate that one that's why i've got some of these white um clear gems to the blue that i'm going to use this and i'm also going to show you how to line a clip and keep it really flat because again we don't want any lumps of glue underneath here so i'm going to do another royal blue because i'll show you how to do a couple of different pans 
we always heat seal our edges and again this is a 55 mil clip now i start with a touch of glue here and i've got my dual temperature glue gun sorry i'm tangled today so i've got my dual temperature glue gun and i normally have it on 60 but on these occasions i always have it on 100 because it's um hotter glue and it's easier to work with so ribbon like I said you can see all that from here I want a dot of glue just there not much just a little bit and you want to place that over like so and hold that down for a couple of seconds now this is the trickiest bit of doing this which is the folding okay so we want a touch of glue here and a touch of glue on the top and you don't want to overload it again and the other thing I do is I take one of these clips or another alligator clip and you use that to push it in and the other thing I do is this bit pat that into the glue dot and same this side and then my thumb fits in that triangle so I wedge that in there so that this ribbon doesn't move and then you want a little layer against here don't go mad and watch fingers if you do that now do it really really tight and the other trick I do is I rub with my thumb down here and this flattens out all your glue underneath and you don't get any ridges like a bump of glue here and then make sure you've got at least a centimetre and a half it's about here heat seal your edge again you just want a touch of glue there Again, don't over overdo it. And pop that in there. And there you go, a nicely lined flat clip. There's no like wedge of glue there, and that's what we work with. And I'm just going to turn my temperature back down to 60. Excuse me, I need more noise. Some of my neighbours are home, so there is a little bit of background noise. And as you can see here, just so I don't lose track of what I'm doing, I've done my 7cm, I've written it down, 5, sorry, 7mm, 5mm, 4mm, 3 and 2, and I've got my heads all set up. So on this one, that I've got my dots on, I'm going to do these nice chunky 7mm ones. And what I use the tool for, let's move this, get distracted, is you can use the tool to pick up. Sometimes you can use the tool to pick up. If you do it this way, be careful. And what you want to do is line it up nicely. Sorry. You want it completely straight like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. That one's set. And again, the other trick you can place it on and hold it firmly against that clip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Again, on that dot. Straight up, always straight up, press down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not quite a set. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
There we go, that's better. Last two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, not quite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, the more you practice with these, the better you'll get at your alignment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So, that's some, and as you can see here, on the last ones, I've done pretty well. On these ones, you can sort of see where the glue smudges, where I've moved slightly. So like, this is why you've got to be careful. And I'm just going to see if I can do this. That sort of minimises it a little bit. That takes a little bit of it away but you can see where I've sort of smudged it a little bit so like I said the more you practice or if you're gonna do it buy some cheap ones and like I said practice a bit before you start doing like more intricate work because like I said it does take a little bit of effort to actually learn how to do it first time without smudging a single thing but the more you practice the better you'll get at it so let's do a different one and I'm just going to pause a second while I swap the heads. Wait me a minute. Okay, so I've swapped out to my 5 mil head, which is this smaller size here. Okay. And I'll be able to better show you picking up on this one, because again, pop this in. You'll see it, it cups it much more snugly. There we go. And as you see, that already started to glue itself. So with this one, it's more patience, and if the size fits better, as you can see, you can sort of pick them up with the the applicator. And again, work out your placement straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done. Pick up your next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Done. I can see there's a little bit of mark there on that one, so on the next lot I'll do it for slightly less, I'll do it for seven seconds. Pick up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am getting a little bit of strings, so be careful. I'm going to do it for slightly less time because again, with them being so close together, what's happening is the glue on the this bit is sort of reactivating and that's where you get a little bit of smudging on the glue as well. So again, pick up, straight down, one, two, three, four, five, six. Pick up with your applicator. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and your next one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And as you can see, you do your little. Sorry, it's hard to pick up on the. There you go. And you just do this all the way down. I find it easier to do two at a time than do all the way one down because it's easier to to work out your placement. If you do it all on one line you tend to go a little bit out of alignment where if you do it this way you're not too bad. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I have to concentrate on these. And the last two. And I've only done six seconds on these since I worked out the temperature on the first one. There we go. And the other thing is, if you do them a little bit looser, so as you can see, they're a little bit tight, those first four. So if you give it a little bit of time, you can do it a little bit more neatly and the glue doesn't reactivate on the original ones. So there you go, there's a really pretty one with the five. And again, if you wanted to, like on the ones that I've got here, you can swap between your heads and do like two five mil, one five mil, etc. And just, or alternate, you could do 5 mil, 3 mil, 5 mil, 3 mil, and just work your way down and do a light little pattern. But like I said, just be careful not to reactivate the glue by touching against the other gem. Give it a little bit of space. Don't move this bit at all when you're doing it. Keep it nice and tight against the clip. And as you can see, the more you practice, the prettier they look. But like I said, I would do quite a few. Like I said, get, get a cheaper kit for now, practice a bit until you get the hang of it because like I said, there's no point in doing intricate designs until you've got the bit where you can do it without moving your tool and smudging things. Okay, then I've got my headband. And again, we're just gonna do some, oh, we'll do some five mil ones first, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick up. One, two, three, four, five, six. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place a seven mil in the centre here because I'm going to do like a little pan. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oop. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And that gem placement was roughly a centimetre. So you can take your ruler, get a centimetre gap. So to carry on our pattern, we need to do the next two here to be a centimetre apart. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, centimetre distance here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do the opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So be able to put five gems in between those with the big ones, or you could do smaller ones. You could do some smaller details. You could go in with your four or your three and do a couple of either side and play around and do like a really cute pattern but like I said make sure you wait till your head has completely cooled down so like I said you turn that off wait for it to cool down and then you can unscrew the head from the tool but like I said never do it because like I said this is extremely hot it's hotter than an iron if you drop this or hit your hand with it you do some serious damage so please do be careful and like I said remember the more you practice at not wobbling and not shifting this at all and like I said, not leaving it on for too long. Like I said, do a couple of practice, do a clip that you, you're not going to be bothered with and literally it's going to take to actually attach it to the material that you're using. Never ever use these on a satin or organza. Um, I, from how fast they burn compared to standard gross grain ribbon, I would say that they it would be very dangerous. You would literally melt through um in a matter of seconds so like i said don't don't use it on those materials stick to your gross grain ribbon um with these like i said i wouldn't recommend on satin or anything else so hopefully you found this little extension useful like i said you can swap around you can play around like i said most of these sets you can either get like ten thousand in dusty sort of clear colour or like a, a, a one mix of a specific colour if you'd use say you use a lot of pink you can get like a ten thousand in pink in the different sizes instead of this little multi-pack with a few different colours. I've got blue, gold, pink, green, yellow, black, red, pale sort of pinky yellow crystals and then quite a lot of the clear crystals because obviously they're the most popular because you can use them on most instead of like specific coloured ribbon um so like i said it's a good way to class light a little bit so you can take your bows and again if you wanted to add a little pop of colour it'd be nice just to add a couple of gems in the corner so you can have that turned on it doesn't take very long to heat up at all literally a matter of a minute and it is hot enough to be able to set your gems and we've still got the five millimeter head. So, as you can see, it's already picking up. As soon as it picks up, it's ready to go. And I do have a silicone finger protector, and this one's from the Hobbycraft in the UK. Um, some of the ones from China aren't as good quality, just to warn you, so be careful. So work out where you want it. So I'm going to do one in the corner. Straight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Do a little one in this corner as well. Straight up, 
no movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Set. Like I said, you could do a little decoration. I'm going to do like a little corner point on these ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Nice, cute little pattern that side. I'm going to do the same this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go, turn that off. And as you can see, you've got a cute little detail on your corners. I haven't got the right colours to do this one. But if I got some, I'd probably do the clear gems with these because the blue is a bit bright. But you could take these and do an edge all around there. Like I said, you can play around. Like I said, just be careful. No movements at all. Straight up. Use a spare bit, a little bit of ribbon first. So, so you've got a couple of little ribbon scraps like this. Like I said, use one of them ribbon scraps. See how much, how long you need to hold it down to work out your temperature and how long you. Because the other thing is, everybody's version of a second counting is a little bit different. So, like I said, check yours and, like I said, see what works best for you. And, like I said, play around. But, like I said, the more practice you do, the better off you'll be. And always have a bit of paper underneath where you put your gems down if you're separating. Because, like I said, mine come in compartments and all the sizes are mixed up. So, if you separate them out, Put them on a bit of paper so you can easily tip them back into your original case sort of thing so hopefully you found this useful thank you for watching if you need any more help or advice on using the tool you can ask me in the comments below or you can join my facebook uh, page or group and the links for those are both in the description don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you for watching bye